Hello everyone and welcome to Virtual Fade in the Gluck 2020. My name is Eddie Cowley and I am standing here on a bridge over the river Borora which is a tributary of the Vine River with one foot in County Cavan and one foot in County Mead. This is the entrance to what is known as Drumlin country of County Cavan, Monaghan, parts of Leitrim and so on. It is a landscape that was carved out by the retreating ice sheets, a countryside that is full of little hills and hollows, rivers and lakes. And there are supposed to be 365 lakes in County Cavan. The geology of this area will be predominantly grey whack. Some of the stone is very shaly, very difficult to work with. You nearly have to build it the way the head is found in the ground. And in the rest of this video, I am going to show you a number of photographs displaying the different types of walls and the different styles. Uh, the first place we're going to go to is the nearest village to here, which is about a mile down the road. That's the village of Muller, and we look for some stone walls around there. Well here we are at our first wall in Mulla and obviously the man who built this wall was a bit of an artist. He has alternated the way that he constructed the stone. For example, most of these stones here are all built on the horizontal, while these ones here are built in a vertical pattern or a sloping pattern. Again, sloping. It's a very attractive wall. On top of the wall, he has a vertical coping stone running the whole length of the wall. This wall appears to be about uh, 18 inches wide at the top and there's a slight batter on it, so it's probably about two and a half feet wide at the bottom. I would guess that it's around 80 to 100 meters in length. This is a style of, of field boundary that is frequently found in the East Cavan area in particular. There's also, as you can see, a white thorn hedge planted into the earth in the centre of the wall, roughly about a foot to a foot and a half from the ground surface. This wall that we are going to look at is near the Carno Ross area of County Mead. It's a double dry stone wall. Uh, it's built almost plumb. It's about two feet wide. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit of uh, soil and different plants growing on the top of the wall. I believe that this may have been throwing up when the, road, when the road cleaners were working on the roads years ago with shovels and brushes cleaning up the water cuts or whatever that were along the road. They would have thrown the clay up on top of the wall and over time plants began to germinate on top of the wall. But it's a very attractive wall. All the stones are built on the horizontal and they're well bonded together with some quite small pinning stones here and there as well. So that's a typical style of a wall that you will find in the North Mead, South East Cavan region. still here in the Carno Ross area on a nearby road and as you can see there's a long stretch of dry stone walls along both sides of the road. Again there are a similar style to the last wall that we looked at except that on, on this road the wall seems to be maybe a foot higher than on the previous road. 
Again, the wall is built probably about two, two foot thick. There is a slight batter on it. In other words, it's not completely plumb. It's a little bit wider at the bottom than it is at the top. But again, it's a, it's a very sturdy looking wall. It's, it needs little bits of repair here and there, but it's very attractive wall and it's in very good condition. And I know that from speaking to some locals this evening, that there are lots of walls like this in this particular locality. Now this final wall that we're going to look at is in the Cross the Keel area of County Mead. I absolutely love this. It's not really a wall, it's a stone-faced earth bank. And unlike the wall, the walls that we looked at in Mullow where the hedge was growing out, on this wall the, there was a line of trees built or built into the planted into the earth bank in the centre of the stone wall. This Earth bank is stone faced with vertical stones on this side and the same on the far side. Now obviously it has suffered some damage over the years because it appears that there's stone missing from around this level because they are on the inside of the wall. Uh, again, because of all the earth that's on the wall, it seems to be inhabited by rabbits and rats and different types of burrowing creatures. As we move down along the wall here, you will see that there are stones here on the horizontal. And I think they may be missing from the rest of the wall. For example, we can plainly see these two stones here. that the owner of this property who will, he has moved into a new house here recently I believe that he is going to fully restore this wall and try to turn it back to what it might have originally looked like I think it's a gorgeous wall and it deserves to be conserved So as you can see from this video and the photographs, this locality has evidence of a wide range of walling styles that is not particularly known well throughout our country. However, there are walls of different styles all over the place. And it is important for us to protect this stone wall heritage because these walls represent more than just a physical structure on the landscape. They provide direct evidence of human settlement and farming practices throughout the ages. And also, the walls also provide a unique habitat for a wide range of biodiversity species. Flora and fauna of, of all types colonize these walls.
And in the face of dwindling species numbers throughout the world, it is important that we protect this, these unique habitats. These habitats contribute to Ireland's perception as a green food producing nation. The walls also offer strong tourism appeal and are extensively marketed for that purpose. The walls also are providing st strong and sustainable stock-proof fencing and farm values are enhanced by having nice walls on your farm well maintained. Wall maintenance was a regular farming activity up until the 1970s. Regrettably, in the last 50 years, with mechanisation and intensification of farming, many stone walls in this region have been removed or allowed to fall into a state of disrepair. Because regular maintenance is not commonly carried out nowadays, the skills of the dry stone walling craft have been substantially lost or forgotten within communities. Building and maintaining walls is an eco-friendly action contributing to sustainability. Replacing walls with high carbon materials such as concrete, plastic, wire or electric fences contributes to increased global warming and of course niche ecological habitats are being destroyed forever. When we build or repair a wall, we are leaving our own individual mark on the landscape that will be there for the enjoyment of future generations. So if you would like to learn some of the basic skills of dry stone walling and how to maintain your walls or how to build a new garden wall or repair your old farm walls, why not come along to Fane and the Gluck at a future date or to some of the other stonewall workshops that are held throughout Ireland throughout the year. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have enjoyed it. Bora